Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about shitty code and if it's healthy just to meet a deadline. So let's get into it. So the question in question for today was posted on another video that I made about code quality and that I blatantly tell you that if you believe that code quality is the most important thing in software development, you are wrong. I don't want you to be wrong, but you are. And the question was, Frederick, do you think from a programming perspective that it's healthy for the tools programmers are making to be made up of shitty code just to meet the business deadline? And the short answer is that I don't think it matters because you're not going to change it. It's that simple. Let me explain. This might sound very gloomy, but I don't think it is if you, if you just hear me out and try to see my perspective on it. So... I'll ask you a fundamental question first and foremost. What is quality? Like what is good what what is good code? Is it the fact that you that all the people at the company know what's going on or is it the fact that the system is working really well, has a few and doesn't have all that many bugs? Like what is quality? If you go and talk to a I'd like to make the analogy to cars, if you buy a really quote unquote shitty car, have you ever reflected on the fact that this car once upon a time was good? In the sense that it performs its function, it has at some point at the very least, even if it's a very old car, it's still a car. It's still going to do the job. It's still going to do all the things that you need from it. It may not do it as well as a sports car or a supercar with modern standards and stuff like that, but it will get the job done. And that's the problem we engineers have. Do you think that we are alone in this idea that quality should matter? If you go over to one of the car manufacturers and you talk to their mechanical engineers do you think that they're just having a big party over there talking about how awesome their engines are and how awesome their brakes are and stuff like that of course not they have shitty products as well because that's the thing about being an engineer that's the thing about building something you will always m notice the flaws in the work that you do always even if the people around you who have no idea of what you're doing see the same thing artists is the same thing no artist has ever i believe at the very least i've heard this many times and i can probably guess that that's true if you ask an artist to look at their their work do you think that they're happy with every single piece of their paintings or their sculptures of course not some stuff they're going to be really pleased with and some stuff they're not going to be so pleased with now the challenge for us software developers is to understand that when our business people knock on the door and say we have a deadline it is our job to figure out how to write the best code given those circumstances that is the goal the goal is not to tell them that well no with this deadline we're not going to be able to meet my unreasonable expectations because that's the thing you will always have higher expectations on the code than is usually needed in order to do something and that is where I argue a real senior is going to show his or her colors because a real senior understands what's very important and what's not so important what I mean by that is that good software is not perfect because there's no such thing only a junior thinks in terms of high quality software and like writing things in a perfect manner a real senior understands that there is no such thing there is no way for you to just be happy with all the code but there is areas of the there, there is uh, um, there are areas of the code that is very important that to get right to put a lot of effort into getting that piece right because as I like to call them they are backbone features and the, it's like building a ship if the keel is broken the whole thing will fall apart that's the important area and if you have mastered your coding skills you're really good at coding you will know what's going to be a high risk feature what's really important to get right and you will know where I can probably give this to a junior like a, a, pretty much anybody can do this because it's not super important that this gets completely perfect as opposed to how important it is to get this thing perfect and when you have that part together with the communication skills because that's the thing that a lot of developers seems to forget your business people have like the stakeholders in your company they know nothing about software development they have no idea if like uh, 
it's important to get this right or if it's important to etc etc so unless you figure out a way to t explain to them why these things are important what are they what are they gonna assume if they give you a deadline do you think it's just because it's fun to give that deadline no they're making money and they're trying to make money and the deadline is there because they need to ship something and they need to tell their customer something and unless you can give them something to explain that well this deadline is going to be unreasonable or this like, this is not going to work well they're, they're going to assume that everything is fine and if you don't take the first step and talk to your stakeholders about what you're going to need and the considerations you need to make to br produce good quality software nothing's going to change and honestly in many cases i think this is a do it's a it's a two-way street it's if they give you if you get a deadline from your stakeholders and you your first instinct is not to analyze the specification and go through and like really take a look and do your homework and then go and talk to them and have an open dialogue about the situation explain all right we have this these issues here and so forth and so forth we can do this and do that we should and my favorite thing is to just explain to them that okay these features here are like problematic if you are really good at what you do you should be able to figure out which features are really critical to the deliverable that you're working on and what things are kind of nice to have things and then you should ask, start asking questions can we descope this can we remove this Be and then motivate it like explain to your stakeholder I've done this a hundred times with different designers they have no idea if a feature is big or not it's literally to them like I've talked to a designer who put the number that I knew is if I needed to implement that little check little number that was on that interface it would set me back at least a week and so I went and talked to them and said, uh, can we remove that? Because it's going to take me a lot longer to build it. And they say, oh, okay, okay, uh, how long is this going to take? Uh, it's going to take at least a week. And I didn't even have to motivate anything else. And like the designer immediately said, oh, that long? I thought that because it's like just a tiny little number, it would be like five minutes. And I'm like, no, it's actually a big thing because the number is very hard to, for me to produce. And so the PO came in and said, oh, it's a dead done deal. Like that's, we can do that in the future when we have more time to remove it and everybody was happy and all that changed just because I talked to my stakeholder so what I want you to take away from this is that shitty code is part of software development because there is no such thing as perfect code in other words you need to get good at producing decent code consistently and decent code is very different from perfect code the way that you produce decent code and good quality code is through understanding that you have limitations on you in other words if you need to ship tomorrow you need to ship tomorrow unless you can create a dialogue with your coworkers uh, and your stakeholders to increase the deadline somehow that's co where the communication comes in if you want a better deadline or a better is a chance at getting really good quality software out the door you need to understand that talking to people is important if you don't converse if you just like Bow, bow your head and say okay uh, and internally you think oh shit uh, we're gonna have to hack this together and you don't even t take the time to talk about it then you're never gonna get a chance to fix anything because your stakeholders are gonna be unreasonable and that's not because they're evil it's because they don't know any better that's why and if you master your coding skills you will start to see a pattern and you will start to notice that well these things here are kind of nice to have. So we can probably discope those or like make them kind of cheap now because they are not super important. But this thing here, this I need to fight for because if I get this wrong, it will set our work back by weeks and weeks and weeks and have leg we will have legacy forever after this. And trust me, if you have both coding skills and the seniority to back up those coding skills and the communication skills, you will be able to sell to your stakeholders that this needs to take a little bit of time because it's important. I promise you, you will. Have a great day.